Hello there, welcome to object oriented programming in C++. So if you've programmed before, you probably know the basics already, like data types, variables, functions, loops. And I'm assuming if you did program before, you are coming from either Python or Java. If you're coming from Java, then C++ is, uh, you know, you'll see syntax quite familiar to you. And if you're coming from Python, there's a much higher learning curve. There's a lot of things that are different between C++ and Python. So one of the main differences is the way we run and compile our code. In Python, if you have a Hello World program, you see that it's just print Hello World. Whereas in C++, uh, you have more lines here. You see that there's this main function and inside it, we print Hello World. So before I go over what each line means, I want to talk more about uh, the differences between C++ and Python. So Python, JavaScript, Ruby, these languages are called interpreted languages. And it's because uh, the way they are, uh, they run is they're quite different from the way C++ runs. Because in C++, if you uh, want to run C++ code, first, uh, you have to compile it and you have to build a program. So first, let's uh, run it. And then you see we have this main.exe file created. So when, whenever you you compile your C++ code, this exe file is executed. So in Python, we don't need to worry about that. Instead, every line is interpreted. It's run line by line. So if, if you run a Python file, this line gets run, and then the next line gets executed, then the next one. Whereas in C++, all of this gets compiled first, and then it runs with uh, this exe file. So in Python, you can also uh, just use a Python console where you can just type in uh, print hello world, and then you get print hello world. You can have x equals uh, a list with one, two, three, and then you print x, you get one, two, three. You can also do the same with JavaScript using Node.js. So we can say console.log hello world. You can also say list equals one, two, three, and you get one, two, three. Now you can't uh, do these things in C++, C++ will require you to have a program. So this is your main program. You will always need this uh, program before you run any C++ code. You can't just run it in some, you know, some console like I did before. All right. Those are the main differences. And because of the way C++ runs and builds versus Python, Ruby, JavaScript, uh, it makes C++ much faster. So why don't we talk about this file, this main.cpp file. Uh, oh, yeah, I forgot to mention uh, C++ uses this CPP extension. So we have a lot of uh, lines here. So let's go over each one. First, let's go over the obvious one. We have this main function. So in Python, you don't really need a main function. You can just write your code here. You can say x equals 10, print x, things like that. But in C++, all your code here goes inside this main function. So in this main function, we have C out. C out stands for console out. It's an output stream. Unlike the other languages, we don't use a print function. We use C out. And then you see here you have uh, two less than signs. This is, uh, we, I like to call it angle angle. Basically, it's an output operator. So we're saying put this string, hello world, into this output stream, and then it'll be printed in the console. And then we have this endo. So what, what does this do? What is this keyword? Let's find out. Let's actually print something else. Uh, let's say Kenny. Oh, and by the way, you can uh, chain these angles. Uh, angle angle so you can say see out angle angle hello world angle angle uh this uh, which we'll go over in a second and uh, another string so let's run it what's happened here let's run again we get hello world kenny and so you see this stands for end line uh if i took it out you can see it's just hello world kenny I could add a new line character, which is the backslash n, and you see hello world Kenny. But in C++, it's more common to use this uh, end line keyword, or you can call it endo. Okay, so that's output. So what is this include IO stream? Include is basically C++ import statement. Now, if I took this away and run our code, we see that uh, we need this IO stream. So 
as I mentioned before, Cout is the output stream. IO stands for input and output. So you need to always include this if you want to uh, print. So that's the IO stream and here's the output. So let's talk about the main function structure. Here is the function name and you might notice uh, we have these brackets. Functions, loops, conditional statements, they're called blocks. When you write your code, you enclose them in these curly braces. This signifies that any code within these curly braces belong to this block. So in this case, uh, these two lines belong to this main function block. You actually don't need to format it like you would in Python using indentation. You can just do this and it'll still run. In fact, you can do this in a single line and it'll also run. And the reason is because uh, C++ only detects these brackets as the blocks. You're probably wondering how come they can run on the same line? Well, it's because of the semicolon. The semicolon tells the compiler when the line ends. So here we have our first line and then we have our second line. So that's what the semicolon does. But please do not write your code like this. In C++, we, we still use indentation because it makes the code more readable. And actually, some people like to uh, start their brackets like this where they have it inlined with uh, opening and closing. Uh, stay away from those kind of people. Do it this way so it's much easier to read. Make sure that you always end your closing bracket or curly brace in line with the, the block. So we, have, we also have this int. This int means that this function returns an int type. So in C++, unlike Python, uh, if you're coming from Java, then you already know this, but Variables and functions uh, require type declaration. So variables, if you want to declare an int x, you would have to do it like this. Whereas in Python, you can just say x equals 10. And in Python, you can just say x equals apple as well. You can change the type. You can go from int to string. If you try to do that in C++, notice that you get an error. And that is because of the static typing. What C++ does is before you even get a chance to run your code, it will catch this error. This is called a compiled time error. So let's uh, get, get rid of this. All right, so you have to make sure that when you declare a variable, you have to declare a type as well. And the same thing for functions. So why is this main function returning an int type? This int signals an error code. So if it returns zero, then that means your code uh, had no errors. Uh, otherwise, you might want to return a different number to signify what kind of error uh, your program has. And actually, this is not necessary. You can get rid of it and your code will still run fine. So in some Hello World programs, you don't even see this return zero. So I, I will comment that out. And to comment, you just use the double forward slash. If you want to make a block comment, you can just say this is a block comment. You just use forward slash asterisk and then write your comment and then asterisk forward slash. Okay. And comments are very useful and they're useful for debugging. So let's say you had an error and you didn't know why, right? We have an error here. If I try to run my program, you see that X equals Apple, that's not allowed. So I can just comment it out and run my code. Finally, we have this using namespace STD. What is this? Let's comment this out and see what happens. Oops. And you see, uh, we get an error. We can't use C out. It says C out was not declared in this scope. And we have endo. We can't use that as well because again, it's not declared in this scope. So if you want to use it, you would have to say STD colon colon. STD stands for uh, standard. And this one as well, std colon colon. So we run it. We see now our program works. So what is std colon colon? What is a uh, namespace? Namespace is basically, let's break it into two words. We have name and space. So whenever you have modules or you're importing a class, or function, you might import two different functions with the same name. So C++ will be confused. It will be like, wait, if you have a function named, let's say add, and you also have another function named add, 
from two different files that you're importing, which one do you use when you call add? Right? So if I have an add function, it will say, which one do you use? And maybe you have file one with add and file two with add. You can distinguish them by saying file name or module name colon colon. So it's saying uh, use the add function from this file or from this module or library. So these are called qualifiers. So the space refers to your, your code and the name refers to the name of your variables, functions, and classes. So here we're saying use the C out, use this name from the standard library. And if you don't want to do it this way, you can take this out and say, we are using the namespace STD. So any function name or class names that come from this standard library, we are going to, by default, whenever we say C out, we are always going to assume that it's using the function from this standard library. Okay. So that's what using namespace STD means. And uh, yeah, that should cover uh, our first program in C++. And I hope you learned a lot and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.